This is going to be a really quick video about the importance of varnishing a painting. So this is my 2022 Treckles 4th Annual Pet Portrait Submission. It's dry now and it looks pretty good, like right here. But in person, you can tell, see that looks fine on camera but you, when you look at it at this angle you can see how like the nose and the the blackest dark parts of the painting kind of don't look great from every angle because you can really see it there on the mouth nose area and then kind of on the eyes as well it just has a different type of shine to it and you want it to be more cohesive you can kind of see it on the collar bit as well and this is a very typical thing with oil paints the dark colors kind of don't have the same level as all the other colors so in person it really kind of doesn't have a cohesive look and you can fix this with the use of varnish so for this i usually use my um gamblin gambar brush but this painting is kind of small, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my leftover saved up varnish from previous projects. I wouldn't recommend doing this on something that you want to keep and look nice, but this is just a personal thing. I already paid for the panel, and I'm just going to use it as a gift for my grandma, so it doesn't need to be perfect or super great or anything. So... This is just varnish that I saved up from previous varnishing and painting when I pour too much out. And typically you would do one straight line in the middle and then spread it out vertically and horizontally. But I'm going to try to do this with just a paintbrush because that's what people do on social media and I want to do that. So voice over me, I instantly regretted using this brush because I did all these back and forth lines to go over it for fun but then I did my serious horizontal and vertical strokes that I do for all my varnishes and the lines were so prevalent that I ended up just cleaning it up with a gambar brush but I show you the, on camera what these lines look like right now. Can that show up on camera? Yeah you can see that. I decided to try once again while constantly wiping off the excess varnish with this tiny brush just trying to get all these little varnish streaks out to no avail so i ended up going back to the tried and true gambar brush which you can see now it's a bit sped up but the end results look really great there are no more streaks and i definitely highly recommend this brush or a similar varnish brush so i ended up going back and using the gambar brush because it just truly got all those little brush strokes out look at that Get all that. Let me do it this way too. See the glare of the the brush strokes are completely gone. So I 100% recommend. I've never used the brush normal brush method before. I just see a lot of people doing that online. So I wanted to give it a shot. But that's 100% super smooth. Lay this flat for 24 hours and come back, and this is our results. So look at that. It's got a consistent, even shine now. Anything that looks somewhat inconsistent, again, is your brush strokes. So it's like, I don't know what in particular. I guess like this area around his nose with a little bit extra whiskers and stuff. Those kind of like, you can see there's texture behind it. And the varnish is not going to flatten any texture that's there. The varnish is just going to even out the surface tack and everything and make everything shine cohesively. So it's not gonna flatten what's already not flat. But anyway, that's the varnish process and how why varnish is important because it makes your final piece super cohesive. And if you're wondering, here's the source of those background sounds. Hey son, 
What about you, Subi? You looking good?